day 1052. I am at Whole Foods right now. Um, just had the craziest experience. So about a month ago, I came here to get a coffee and I, I got a coffee and there was a guy uh, in the produce section working. And uh, I looked over and God said to me, go pray for him. And I was like, no way. <laughs> <laughs> like there's people all around like this guy's gonna think I'm a weirdo like no way am I gonna go pray for people and he had this like this like aggressive energy like this kind of like heavy energy this heaviness um and I was just like no way God nope not gonna do it I don't I'm not that brave I'm not that bold and um and so I left and every time I've come to Whole Foods I see him in the produce section and I just think back to like, man, you should have prayed for him. Imagine what you would have done because God just showed me that he's going through some heavy things, some hard things, and that he needs prayer. And uh, so I come and I sit here and there's me, one other guy, and then he goes and he sits over there. And I go to throw my stuff away and I look over and it's him. And I'm like, oh my gosh. And I come sit down and uh, I'm getting ready to read the Bible. And God's like, go pray for him. I was like, oh my gosh, no, God, this is so weird. Like, he's going to think I'm just crazy, whatever. And I took out my picture of Jesus reaching out, which I have it printed out, and it's usually in my Bible. And I was looking at it. Uh, I gave it to the guy, so I don't have it to show it. But um, I was like, okay. And I used from what I learned this morning, like, I felt fear. And I was like, no, 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 spirit of fear. There's godly glass between me and you, you stupid spirit. So I don't have to feel that fear. So I just declare the godly glass between me and the spirit of fear. And the fear went away and I got up and I walked over there and I was like, hey bro, I know this sounds maybe crazy or, or so random, but do you need prayer for anything? And he's like, do, do I need what? I was like, prayer, like, do you need prayer for anything? And he was like, no, no, I'm, I'm good. And, and I was like, oh, <laughs> like felt so dumb. Like, uh, but then I was like, no, no, God, God's got this. And he was like, what, what makes you ask that? And then I told him a month ago, what happened? I didn't pray for him. And I came and sat down here and God was like, go pray for him. And he was like, what? He's like, yeah, I've been going through a lot of hard stuff. And he just started opening up, started talking about his girlfriend, his kids, his car, his taxes, like all these things falling apart, his job and his whole life he's just kind of carried it on his own and i was like bro god doesn't want you to carry that weight on your own and um and we just started having this amazing conversation and uh he started opening up he almost got teary-eyed he was like on the verge because he was like so god just told you to come to to come talk to me come pray for me i was like yeah man like god's pursuing you like he is your heavenly father and he doesn't want you to carry all this weight on your own. He doesn't want you to go through all this stuff on your own. And I know that you feel like you need to be strong and you got to figure it all out, but God doesn't need you to be strong and figure it all out. He needs you to give it to him. And I was like, I'll be right back. And I came and I grabbed that picture that I had printed out of Jesus with his hand out um, because I knew God was just like, that's his, that's his. And so I brought it over to him and I gave it to him. And I was like, hey bro, every anytime you're going through it and you're struggling, just look at this picture and realize that he's got you. Just give it to him. You don't have to carry this weight. And I could tell he was so touched. And so um, I'm here basically every day. So I was like, yeah, man, you should you should come check out our church. Like, you know, you have no idea what could happen if you just show up. Um, and so I know he'll get there at some point. But that was just crazy. Crazy. Like, I thought I was coming here to read the Bible. Little did, little did I know that I was coming here to do something much more powerful um yeah wow god is so good the things that he will do for one lost soul just blows me away thank you lord